my adrenaline was just going and it just kicked in out of this. I knew what I had to do to save my family, basically. Brandon Owens woke up around 1.30 Monday morning to the beeping of a smoke detector, and that's when he heard his neighbors screaming. Outside in the hall, a fire was raging on the steps. Without thinking, he ran down the steps, through the flames, and out of the building. He was, it turned out, the only one to make it out the front door of his Derby Estates apartment complex. Dozens of others were trapped inside, among them his family, including two small children. I'm telling them to open the window. I'm yelling at them. He reached out and grabbed the kids from that second floor window and later his girlfriend and her cousin. Other residents jumped to safety. Two were rescued by firefighters. It's because, according to Major Chris Jenkins with the arson unit, the fire was intentionally set near the stairs where people would be trapped. It's 1.30 in the morning. Obviously, this act it was intentional, so it's targeted. Right now, we don't have a motive. We don't know why this happened. He says without surveillance cameras, he's relying on tips from the public, and that's what residents like Amber, who asked not to appear on camera, are counting on. She had made it out of a second-story window Monday and returned Thursday, salvaging what she could. I have what I got in my car, which ain't what I had before all of this started that I work hard to get. She's admittedly angry, and so too is Brandon Owens. They might do it to somebody else and really hurt somebody the next time, you know, so whoever it is need to be off the streets. And investigators Rick Vicky tell me this fire could have been deadly tonight. They are praising the apartment complex. They had working smoke detectors in every single apartment. Now let's talk about the residents. 14 adults, 10 children were displaced on Monday. They have all been helped by the Red Cross, and many I spoke with are tonight with friends and family. That is the very latest from LFD headquarters. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. All right, thanks, Lauren. Now, arson investigators are asking anyone with information or even anyone that might have been in that area to call their tip line. That number you see on your screen, 574-3721.